Okay, here we are with Cheyenne Knight. Welcome to the Media Center, everyone, and um, those on the Zoom. Please let me know if you have any questions. Um, we'll hold, we have a local sports management class here. Say hi, everyone. And um, we'll have them ask a couple questions at the tail end for you. Um, but I'd like to open it up. Past champion here, um, you first won on the LPGA Tour in your home state in 2019. Can you sort of take us back to that moment and the memories you have here at Old American? Yeah, I have a lot of great memories here. It was three years ago, so it's kind of been a while. Um, but just every time I drive in, um, it brings back a lot of special memories of my first win here. And um, yeah, it's great. It's like really memorable walking up all the holes and remembering um, just kind of how I was feeling and the shots that I hit down the stretch. And so yeah, it's always nice to come back. Yeah, you hit some incredible shots. Your, I believe, last round, or your, you have the scoring record here. Um, so. Does that give you an advantage here every time you come back, you sort of know where to hit it and what the strategy is? So we've played it, it's been, gosh, I feel like this year's the most similar it's been to 2019. We played around the same time, you know, in 2020, we played when it was really cold, when Angela won and last year, um, around July 4th, it was really hot. Um, but I feel like, I know this course really well. I've played it a lot. I've played it in a lot of different conditions. So I feel like I just feel comfortable more than anything that week. Um, the fairways are really firm and fast and I am, I feel like there's more grass on the fairways this year. It's in, it's in really good shape. So I don't have the same clubs, uh, coming in like I did. And I, I feel like I'm a little bit longer as a player. So, um, don't play the holes exactly how I did back in 2019, but I feel like I'm just more comfortable cause I've played here a lot. Mm -hmm. Being a, a Texas native, how special was it to get your first win on the LPG tour here in your home state? I feel like before I even started playing, I always wanted to win in Texas. Um, you know, if I ever got the opportunity to, uh, down the road in my career. So having my first win here when I had a lot of family here was really special. A lot of people got to see it and, you know, they don't get to see me play that much. You know, they have stuff going on and they can't travel around the world, but, um, it was great that they were here. It was really special. I, it was kind of like a Cinderella story in a way. Mm -hmm. And now chasing that second win, how, how, how difficult is that? I know they say all the time chasing that second win is hard, but what's the strategy? How have you stayed patient, um, in your pursuit of number two? It's hard to win out here. Um, it's really competitive. There's so much depth on the tour. You know, anyone can win um, every week. They're the best players in the world for a reason. And um, close in 2020, lost in a playoff and uh, kind of had a rough year last year. But I feel like I've been playing solid this year. And it just kind of has to be your week when you kind of put everything together. So I'm just trying to like, just, um, you know, trying to be in contention every week because mm -hmm. and getting that experience and that feeling, um, feeling the nerves is, you know, what we ultimately strive for. So just trying to, you know, put four solid rounds together and you need to go low out here. And so get it to double digits. And so just try, that's my goal every week is, you know, just try to do what I can do to put myself in that position on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Like you said, you, you have had a pretty consistent season. What is the secret to your consistency out here this year? Yeah, this is my fourth year and I feel like I've started to kind of figure it out. Um, just what I need to do to play well. And um, yeah, it's been kind of like a mix of kind of turning it off when I leave the golf course. You know, we play so much. Um, so when I leave the golf course, I need to find other things that I enjoy doing. And um, so I don't get burnt out. I kind of experienced a little bit of that last year. And, you know, I'm focusing on my craft and what I need to do to play well and just the things that I need to do every day to improve and kind of process over result type of mentality. Mm -hmm. But that's helped me a lot this year. But just having other things that I enjoy doing um, mm -hmm. has helped a lot, too. Just curious, what are some of those other things? Oh, just really anything. Um, you know, I mean, I feel like golf takes such a long time. You know, we're out here for hours a day, um, but just not dwelling on the round. You know, I like to shop, even if it's just going to Target, you know. Um, this week is nice. Like, I have family, but just, like, hanging out with my friends is something that I really, like, enjoy doing, too. What do you enjoy doing here in <clears throat> Texas, specifically? 
I love being at home because mm-hmm. <laughs> we're not home a lot. Yeah. Um, my parents have two dogs, so I love spending time with them. And um, there's like always little shops that I like to go to close to Fort Worth and um, just kind of get out, you know, go on a walk and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> get my hair done. I don't yeah. know, like girl things. <laughs> so, um, yeah, whenever I'm home, I just love like not living out of a suitcase and mm-hmm. just spending time with family. Yeah. Um, about this tournament, a lot of, um, the past champions are Texans mm-hmm. and, or live here in Texas or are based in Texas. Why do you think that is? I think a lot of girls just relocate here. Um, it's Texas is centralized. It's easy to travel out of and, um, a lot of direct flights to airports. So I think that's kind of one of the reasons why, but also like Angela winning on 2020 was awesome and how her parents got to see that. That was really cool. And I feel like just like the hometown support is kind of mm-hmm. nice, like home field advantage type yeah. of thing. So yeah, I think it's just, I think a lot of girls are moving here or Florida. It's, there's a lot of great golf courses in the area and, uh, you know, a lot of things to do like in DFW. Mm -hmm. This, this course specifically, what is, what is Texas about it? What's, um, Angela had some things to say yesterday about it. So I want to hear what makes this course so suited for Texas players. Oh my gosh. Um, (laughs) wow. Okay. I would say, yeah. Um, it gets pretty windy here Mm -hmm. and, I feel like we're very accustomed to playing in the wind as people that live here know you're, it can be really windy. So I feel like we always know how to play in the wind and we want it to be windy cause we're more, um, we feel comfortable with that. And the Bermuda grass <laughs> greens, uh, and the fairways and chipping off of that is something that you don't really get unless you live in the South. So I'm very comfortable with that. That's where, like, that's the type of grass I learned how to play golf on. So very comfortable with that and it requires different type of shots around the green so I think that's what makes it Texas that's what Angela said okay too. okay so good you pass. there you go <laughs> I'm gonna open it up to some of our students now okay yep Step on up. hello hi so leading up to this tournament in the past week what did you do to prepare yourself So last week we played in Arkansas and I feel like it's always good to play the week before a tournament um getting that tournament experience is really second to none. Um, and I had my coach last week and this week and we worked on like just kind of the keys that I need to keep doing in my swing and change my putting a little bit. So, um, worked more with him, which is different than weeks that I'm just kind of by myself, just me and my caddy. So having him there and checking things like to make sure like all parts of my, of my game are good. Thank you. Hi. Hey. When you hit a shot that gets you off track, how do you rebound from it and build on it? So I would say golf, you're, it's not going to be perfect. And I know that I'm going to hit shots that I'm not pleased with. But, yeah, just kind of having a short memory and, um, you know, thinking what I need to do better the next shot or just if something felt a little bit off, just kind of, you know, uh, face it and then just kind of move on from it and kind of focus more on the next shot. Thank you. All right. I guess that's it. Thanks, Cheyenne. Thank you.